Hi Hexagon, and welcome to this Inspire training video. Today, we are going to discuss ATS-600 area scanning with perimeters. First, navigate to the Features tab and select Create Perimeter. Now, we can start selecting perimeters on our CAD model. We're going to click Define Perimeter, select From Face, and then physically select it from our CAD model. So now I'm going to go through same process and just select various faces located on my CAD model. We also have the ability to choose from points and we can also close the perimeter. As you select each perimeter from the features tab, we will automatically show its properties. Once you are completed, next we are going to go to the acquisition mode and change it to area scan. I'm going to just reset my view a little bit. And then now if I switch instrument camera off, this will keep the live view static while I set these perimeters for the area scan. Click on the gears. And then next click on define view OVC. Inside of here, I have a slight view of what I need to actually inspect. I can try moving the OVC. I can try updating and moving my CAD, but I have another option. Inside the OVC window, navigate to Panorama Images, and then select Add Panoramic Scene. Next, rotate and move the ATS-600 and then click on manual probing. This will take a screenshot of that area. I'm going to right click, manual probing again. I'm going to move down. I'm going to select manual probing once more. I'm going to left click once more, click manual probing again. And then now that I'm complete, I'm going to select finish. This now gives me the ability to see everything that's currently in my live view as a panoramic image. Next, inside of the regions, I'm going to select Add Region. And now I'm just going to create a region located around the perimeters I selected inside of the main graphical view from the CAD model. We just left click. Once I'm completed, I'm just going to right click and the ATS-600 will go through and measure those features. Now I can update and just rotate, make sure it's correct. I can change the point-to-point -point distance. We can see the time will automatically be updated. And I can also change the grow and shrink values if needed. Once I'm set, I'm gonna click on Set from OVC. It's gonna update my time. I'm gonna close the OVC window. I'm going to select apply. And now I want to automate this routine. So I'm going to head over to the actions panel, click the plus, navigate to measurement and select measure parameters. First, I'm going to select the ATS 600 as the instrument and then click on the perimeters I created earlier. Press enter to accept. Now I can navigate down to the actions, right click, open the properties, and then inside of here, I can change the scan type, either it could be area or a line scan, and then I can automatically advance, or I can add additional perimeters or show a message. Once I'm complete, I'm going to press play, and the ATS 600 will go through and measure those perimeters that I selected from the CAD model earlier. Now we can see that I'm on the third perimeter. And then now it's going to do the last one. And then now I can accept those measurements by just clicking the check on the cloud one. Thank you for watching and we hope you were inspired. 